This video is going to be talking about the order of operations or how to do many different operations in one equation at one time. Now we know that the trick for this is our wonderful little word called bed mass. So let's write this down here to remind ourselves. Bed mass. And we know that each of these letters stands for the order in which we do the operations. So B stands for brackets. E for exponents, and that's the power, the little number, remember? D for division, M for multiplication, A for addition, and S for subtraction. And this is the order that we have to do each of our steps. So let's tackle our problem over here. <clears throat> so what they're given to us, I'm just gonna erase the brackets, get out of my way, there we go. So what they're given to us is three plus six times three minus 10. And if you were to go enter this in the calculator, you would not get the right answer because you have to do it in a certain order. That's why bed mass is used. So what we're gonna do is, do one thing at a time. So you check, do I have any brackets? Not in this case. Move on, exponents, nope, this is a simple one. No division, multiplication, ah, yes I do right here. Now watch carefully, this is very important. We're going to select the equation that we are working with because we don't wanna get mixed up with the other numbers right now. We only wanna select what we're using and bring this number down. So we have six times three, which is 18. Okay, and now I'm finished working with this section of numbers. I don't actually need it anymore. So the only thing I need to do is bring down the numbers that I haven't used yet. So I haven't used my three, or that addition symbol, and I haven't used my subtract 10 yet. So notice how I rewrote the whole thing to make sure I didn't miss or forget any other numbers. So I have my answer to the first part, and then I'm gonna move on with the others. So I checked my list, multiplication, what comes next? Addition. So whatever is in my addition, I have to do next. So again, I'm gonna select only the numbers that are involved in my addition. I don't need anything else. So I'm gonna do three plus 18, which is 21. And again, I'm gonna rewrite down here at the bottom so it's all on the same line and nice and clear. Whatever I did not do. Okay, so now I'm left with a very simple equation and it happens to be the last thing on the list, subtraction. So all I need to do is 21 minus 10, which I know is 11. There we go. And so the answer to the large equation up here is 11. And that is how bed mass works. And stay tuned for another video on a more complicated example of bed mass as well.